Hi, this is Scott Leopold with Leopold Homes, and today I want to talk about septic systems. So here's a house that I'm building in uh, Austin, Texas. It's uh, by Lake Austin here. And in this area, we have to do a septic system because they do not have a uh, public sewer. So there are two different types of septic, septic systems. Uh, first, you have an anaerobic or conventional system, which needs a minimum of 30 inches of good soil. This system also needs a larger um, area and a level, more level and a bigger area for that, uh, for that system to work properly. The other type of system is an, is an aerobic treatment system, which, uh, which is what we're using here, which is what you see in front of me. This type of system pre-treats the water and uses, uh, it doesn't need a lot of soil. So like with the, uh, with the anaerobic system, you need to have a lot of good soil, um, you know, like 30, you know, 30 inches of, of good soil. Here, if you have a site that has, uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, good soil, uh, rocky, um, in Austin, um, there's a lot of rock here. So uh, this type of system, this um, aerobic system is, uh, is usually more uh, used. So um, anyway, but this is really great for lots that are small, tight areas, not level, and, um, and rocky. So here we have our septic system. So think of this as a on-site wastewater treatment plant. So here we have a precast concrete tank which breaks down waste via a three compartment tank which we have here. First we have a pre-treatment compartment which receives the influent where heavy soils settle and form sludge at the bottom of the tank. That's the first compartment. The second compartment is the treatment compartment. Here, wastewater or gray matter is thoroughly mixed with oxygen via an aerator and passed over the living microorganisms located on the biological accelerated treatment media, also known as the BAT media. And the third chamber, uh, the third compartment, is the settling compartment. Where, where a clear liquid devoid of color and odor, known as effluent, is then discharged through the baffle outlet. Which brings us lastly to this 750 gallon pump tank, where, the pump, where, where we pump the effluent to the leach bed in the backyard. So there's the pump, and it's pumping the effluent out through those pipes, and I'll show you the leach bed in the back. Okay, so from our pump tank back here, the pump basically pushes the effluent out through these tubes and it carries it or pumps it all the way back here to our leach bed. So that pump is pumping all that stuff back here and that is getting distributed throughout all these tubes that make up our leach bed in the backyard. So it'll get pumped through here and it'll get distributed through the soil back here. So what'll happen next is all this is laid out and then what's gonna happen is they're gonna put a, a, a fresh coat of soil on top of this. So this will be covered in soil and this will become basically the leach bed. So that is an example of one of my properties where we've done a septic tank. So you get a, get an idea of what that's like. So my next lot is actually a pretty level lot and it's a big lot and so we'll probably be able to do a more conventional system and I'll take a video of that so you can see how that um, how that type of system is, is put in place. If you have any questions please come visit me at uh, leopoldhomes.com and we have tons of videos, tons of uh, educational stuff so please come check it out.